Hello, everyone. Welcome to English Seven. Today, I will help you with Unit Eleven, Section B. But before we start the new one, try a small game that you can review the words you learned in the previous lesson. Okay? Crossword. It's very easy. I will show you some pictures and some questions. You will guess the right words. One. How does he feel? Hot. Very easy. See. Two. Rain. No. Rain has four letters. R A I N. Not correct. Another word. Wet. Continue with four. Lake. No, no. I don't ask you. What is it? The question is, what is the weather like in this area? What is the weather like in this area? Cool. Five. What his problem? What his problem? Toothache. Toothache. Three. Spring. Yeah. But what is the weather like in spring? What is the weather like in spring? Warm. The last one, six. Headache. Headache. Now, the keyword is. Can you find out? The keyword is health, sức khỏe, and health is also our topic today. Unit Eleven. Keep fit, stay healthy. Section B. What was wrong with you? New words. Now, open your notebook, listen, and then write down the new words into your notebook. Listen or repeat. Have a bad cold. Have a bad cold. Bị cảm lạnh. Have a headache. Have a headache. Have a headache means bị đau đầu. Have a virus. Have a virus. Have a virus means bị sốt, bị nhiễm virus. Have a stomachache. Have a stomachache. Have a stomachache. Bị đau dạ dày. Have a stomachache. Bị đau dạ dày. Have the flu. Have the flu. Have the flu means bị cảm cúm. Have the flu. A sick note. A sick note. When you have some problems with your health, you will go to the hospital. Your doctor will write a sick note for you. A sick note means giấy chứng nhận sức khỏe. But the conversation in your textbook. Of Mr. Tan and Lan, basing on the context, I have another one for you. Đơn xin phép nghỉ vì bệnh. A sick note. Illness. Sickness. Can you hear me? Again. Illness. Sickness. Sự đau bệnh. Absent. 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 Yesterday, I had a headache, so I couldn't go to school. I can say, I was absent from class, or I was absent from school yesterday. Hôm qua tôi vắng học, tôi không có đi lên học, tôi không đến trường, vắng mặt. Absent from. Semester, semester. Every school year we have two semesters. Every school year we have two semesters. Semester means học kỳ. Finished. Now listen and repeat after me. Have a bad cold. Have a bad cold. Have a headache. 
have a headache, have a virus, have a virus, have a stomachache, have a stomachache, have the flu, have the flu, a sick note, a sick note, illness, sickness, sickness. Absent, absent, absent from. Semester, semester, semester. Open the textbook, page one hundred and twelve. Look at the picture. This is Mister Tan and Lan. Mister Tan is Lan's teacher. You will listen to the tab and try to find out the reason Lang was absent from class yesterday. You know the reason? The reason means nguyên nhân lý do. Try to find out the reason Lang was absent from class yesterday. Can you do it? Now listen to the tab. B. What was wrong with you? One, listen. Then practice with a partner. Page one hundred nineteen. Where were you yesterday, Lam? You didn't come to school. I had a bad cold. I had a headache and a stomach ache too. Oh dear, you were ill. How do you feel now? I feel okay, but I'm a little tired. Oh. You had better stay inside at recess. The weather is awful today. Did your mom write a sick note for you? No, she didn't. But I have this note from the doctor. That will be fine. Oh, I see. You had a virus. I hope you'll be okay now. Thank you. Finished. True or false statements. I have four. Now, students, read the conversation again and tell me the answer, true or false, and why. Okay. One, Lan had a bad cold yesterday. Ngày hôm qua, Lan đã bị cảm nặng. True or false? True. Two, her mother brought a sick note for her. Mẹ của bạn ấy đã viết đơn xin phép nghỉ vì bệnh cho cô ấy. False. What's the problem with her mother? No, not her mother. So who? The doctor. The doctor. Three. She's very well today. Hôm nay bạn ấy đã khỏe lại rồi. True or false? Of course, false. Why? She's not very well. Yeah, you can write this. She is not. Another answer, instead of adding at, I would say, she is a little tired today. Four, she should stay in class at recess. Bạn ấy nên ở trong lớp vào giờ ra chơi. True. Do you have all the correct answers? Very good. Try another exercise. Answer the questions. Five questions for you. You can stop this video clip here at this time to give enough time for you to write out the answer. Các con có thể ngưng cái video clip ngay tại thời điểm này để mình có thời gian mình trả lời câu hỏi. Sau đó chúng ta sẽ tiếp tục video và kiểm tra lại đáp án của mình. Now, I will give you the answer. A. Why didn't Lan go to school yesterday? Tại sao Lan lại không đi học ngày hôm qua? Because she was sick. Bởi vì bạn ấy bị bệnh. B. What was wrong with her? Thế bạn ấy bị gì vậy? She had a bad cold and headache. 
you can say she had a bad cold. Only bad cold. It's okay. Or you say she had a bad cold, a headache, and a stomachache. All three answers are good. Can you hear me? You can say she had a bad cold. One. She had a bad cold and a headache. Two. Or you can say she had a bad cold, a headache, and a stomachache. Three. All three ways to answer is correct. C. What does Mr. Tân tell Lan to do? Thế thầy Tân đã bảo Lan phải làm điều gì? Mr. Tân tells Lan to stay inside at recess. Thầy Tân bảo Lan là phải ở trong vào giờ ra chơi. D. What did the doctor say about Lan's problem? Thế bác sĩ đã nói như thế nào về tình trạng của Lan? The doctor said that Lan had a virus. Bác sĩ bảo là Lan đã bị nhiễm virus rồi. Or you can say, bác sĩ bảo rằng Lan đã bị sốt rồi. E. Who wrote Lan's sick note? Ai đã viết cho Lan đơn xin phép nghỉ vì bệnh? The doctor. The doctor wrote Lan's sick note. Now, check. Continue our lesson. We have just finished the reading skills. So I have three parts according to the model sentences for you. Look at the examples. I have a bad cold. Tôi bị cảm nặng. You can say, tôi có một trận cảm nặng. It's not suitable. Tôi bị cảm nặng. She has a toothache. Cô ấy bị đau răng. Cô ấy bị đau răng. He had a headache yesterday. He had a headache yesterday. Ngày hôm qua, cậu ấy bị đau đầu. See? When you want to say about your health, you will use have, has, had, plus, a, an, and then name of illness. Have a headache. Have a toothache. Have a back cold. Have a stomachache. Have the flu. You can see that? Chúng ta sẽ sử dụng cấu trúc chủ từ cộng have, has, hair cộng màu từ a hoặc an cộng tên của cái loại bệnh mà chúng ta đang muốn sử dụng. Most of examples use a or an but we have one exception the flu have the flu bị cảm cúm như vậy chúng ta sẽ sử dụng cấu trúc này để làm gì talk about sicknesses nói về các loại bệnh và tình trạng của bản thân write down In the conversation of Mr. Tan and Lan, Mr. Tan asked Lan, What was wrong with you? And Lan said, I had a headache. Em đã có chuyện gì xảy ra vậy? Or, chuyện gì đã xảy ra với em vậy Lan? Lan said, Dạ, yeah, em bị đau đầu ạ. À. Trong tình huống này, Go, what was wrong with you? Được dùng để làm gì? Khi người khác hỏi What was wrong with I had a headache or something? You will use to ask and answer about a person's state or a person's health. But remember, What was wrong with object? For example, you, him, her, Them. What was wrong with him? Có chuyện gì đã xảy ra với anh ta vậy? After that, you will use the answer had plus a or an plus name of illness. Như vậy, câu hỏi what was wrong và câu trả lời I had plus a an plus name of illnesses to ask and answer about health. 
Trong bài là dùng được để hỏi và trả lời về sức khỏe, nhưng nói rộng hơn, câu hỏi What was wrong with you còn được dùng để hỏi về tâm trạng của một người nào khác không ổn hoặc là có vấn đề gì đó mà mình muốn biết nguyên nhân, mình hoàn toàn có thể sử dụng câu này. Ngoài ra, chúng ta còn có thể sử dụng câu này một cách ngắn gọn bằng cách sử dụng hiện tại đơn What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Có chuyện gì vậy? I had a headache. Tôi bị đau đầu đấy. Understand? Part 3 Make yes no question past simple tense You know about past simple tense from unit 9. That's right. So today I will help you how to make yes no questions with ordinary verbs. Look at the example. I had a toothache. The subject is I. The verb is had. That's right. Again. The subject is I. The verb is had. So if I want to change into yes no question, I will say did I have? Can you hear me? Did I have? No, I'm wrong. We can repeat the subject I. In the questions, you must change I into you. You. So you will say did you have a toothache? Did you have a toothache? And in the conversation, you will say, Did you have a toothache? Did you have a toothache? Yes, I did. And say no? No, I didn't. I didn't. Another example. She took a photo. She took a photo. The subject is she. The verb is took. And yes, the question you will say, did she take a photo? Did she take a photo? You say, did she take a photo? Did she take a photo? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. See? Got it? So, I have the structure. When you want to make yes no questions in past simple tense with ordinary verbs, you will say dick plus subject plus verb bear infinitive. Verb bear it means that động từ nguyên mẫu. You can't repeat the past form of verb in the question. It's wrong. I had. Did you have? She took. Did she take? Answer. Short answers. Yes. Subject plus did. No. Subject plus didn't. Write down, please. A small exercise for you. I have five statements. Try to change them into the questions and answer with the words I give you in the brackets. Các con có thể ngừng video clip ngay tại thời điểm này để tụi con có thời gian làm bài. Sau đó tụi con hãy nhấn nút tiếp tục mình xem đáp án nhé. 1. My father went to the park. Yes. Ba của tôi ngày hôm qua đã đi tới công viên. Did your father go to the park? Yes, he did. 2. Tom bought a new car. Yes. Did Tom buy a new car? Yes, he did. 3. I was absent from class last week. Tuần vừa rồi tôi đã vắng mặt ở lớp. Were you absent from class last week? No, I wasn't. Can you focus on this? I don't use did at the beginning of the questions. Why? Because with number three, 
The verb is be, was, were. So we don't need to use did. Okay? We just use did with ordinary verbs. 4. Tom wrote a sick note. Tom đã viết đơn xin phép nghỉ vì bệnh. Did Tom write a sick note? No, he didn't. 5. She traveled to Hanoi last year. Yes. Did she travel to Hanoi last year? Yes, she did. Như vậy, thông qua bài tập này, cô muốn nhắc các con một lần nữa. Đối với động từ thường muốn đặt câu hỏi yes no, chúng ta sẽ dùng did ở đầu câu. Riêng câu số 3, cô muốn nhắc lại một lần. Là đối với động từ to be, chúng ta không cần sử dụng did mà chúng ta phải giữ lại động từ to be đó và sử dụng thể đúng phù hợp với chủ từ. Ví dụ, I là I was. Khi sang câu hỏi chuyển thành you thì phải là were you. Ok. We finished today. Thanks for your listening. Goodbye.